Welcome to a new construction property tour. This week I'm taking you to Douglasville, Georgia, where we're going to explore the Adams plan built by Curley Family Homes in the estates at Hurricane Point. I'm Terrence Richardson. I'm your Atlanta Realtor with EXP Realty. Join me as we explore this beautiful decorated model from top to bottom. Property tour coming up right now. All right, let's get started with the property tour, shall we? So here we are in Douglasville, Georgia, to the west of Metro Atlanta, and we're taking a look at the Adams floor plan in the estates at Hurricane Point. Now, this is a community that it wasn't started by Curly Family Homes, but they're gonna finish it. They bought most of the remaining lots and they've been building these estate homes on these properties. And uh, they're basically three side brick, They've got three car garages. They all have basements. They're acre lots or more. So you get a lot of house to the west of the city in Douglasville right now. And this is a good example. So we'll take a look at the decorated model and see what you think. Now at the top here, you've got a nice flat driveway. I'm gonna quickly show you the back side here, but we're gonna take a closer look at the backyard once we're inside the house here in a little bit. So you can see there's a little bit of a slope, but it's nice and flat where you will come out in the basement, covered back deck there. Three car garage. Now, because all the lots in here are basement lots, they're not perfectly flat. You wouldn't have a basement otherwise. But the top of the driveways, they're nice and flat. Here is the walkway to the front porch. Got a nice accent. Yeah, nice accent around the front entrance. Now the Adams is a four bedroom, four and a half bath, 3,820 square foot home. And of course with the decorated model, we're gonna see some nice bells and whistles. So when you walk into this plan, it's a two story foyer. And you've got engineered wood throughout the entire main level. Opens up here to a dining room, beautiful coffered ceiling. And then over here, now this is being used as a sales office. So obviously it could be used as an office, right? So office, study, formal living room, and what's neat, got these big windows, so there's a lot of light that comes in. Might not necessarily look that way right now because it's overcast. I mean, you can see just how deep and dark these clouds are. Well, maybe you can't. Just take my word for it. Uh, we're a couple days removed from Hurricane Helene. But anyways, over here we've got this door that heads out to a different covered balcony. Now, this is really cool because this is the only door that leads out to it. So they've got some rocking chairs out here. Now this is what this elevation of the Adams offers. They do have an elevation of the Adams where this continues and wraps around. So it's a wrap around porch. Um, not this one, but it's kind of neat. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this separated balcony or covered porch. Hey, real quick, I wanted to give a very special shout out to one of my favorite viewers watching from all the way up in Montreal, Quebec. Alex, happy eighth birthday. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope that this year will be one of your best years yet. Thank you so much for watching and let's get back to the tour. So we'll head back in, take a look at the rest of this house. So just taking a look back at the foyer, you can see the beautiful wood doors transom window and then all of this opens up to this huge open concept living on the main level all right so this opens up to the family room got the staircase here that goes upstairs so i'm just gonna say it i really like the fact that the staircase is hidden from the front door so that's kind of nice and it's broken up into tiers I know that's very popular with people. Take a look at the family room. So we did a shiplap. So we've got some farmhouse features with the uh, wood mantle. It's a gas fireplace. 
And look at how this opens up. You've got breakfast nook there in the middle, and then you've got this wide open kitchen. So stainless steel appliances, huge island. And uh, while you'll see some quartz in some of these homes, this here is a granite. Backsplash, huge ceramic sink. That overlooks the backyard. Pantry over here. So it's a decent size. I'd rip the wireframe out and put something a little bit more custom in. And this is a uh, Whirlpool appliance package. Look at how big that island is. So lots of extra storage. Got the microwave convection oven on that side. You got a little bit of an overhang here. It looks like a 12 inch overhang. Perfect spot to put some stools. And then got some double ovens on this side. Perfect little spot as they're using it for a little Keurig or Nespresso or a coffee center. There's a hallway here that goes into the dining room that we saw. And then there's a powder room right here. Little guest accessible half bath. Like the cooktop. And then you've got vent hood. And it's all tiled as you can see. It's like a some kind of a bluish gray subway tile. Now there is a refrigerator. Typically, when you buy a home here, you're gonna have to buy your own refrigerator. There might be an option to have one added by a curly family. But typically you're gonna get your own refrigerator. Now this heads out to the garage. So they've got a nice mudroom here. Peek into the garage. So you have some nice height. Room in that corner there, definitely for storage and whatnot. Probably against this back wall as well. Just depends on how big of a vehicle you're driving. Now, all of the lots in this neighborhood have a basement. So I'm going to show you the basement first, and then we're going to go upstairs next. I'm telling you, you definitely want to see the primary suite in this house. It's absolutely stunning. All right, so the basements are going to be unfinished. Curly Family Homes does not offer an option to finish them. So if you wanted to finish the basement, that would be up to you to do it at a later time. But it's all framed out, stubbed. So you can see there the pipes coming out to build out a kitchen, bathroom. Probably need a sump pump to get everything back up the street level. Mechanical room here. This is a nice open space. And we'll step outside real quick. Okay. Nice little touch. They poured the patio. Can't tell you how many times I look at new construction and all the builder does is a little itty bitty square of cement concrete right there and the rest of this is pine straw. So it's not just because it's the model. I've seen um, a couple of other houses in this neighborhood and it seems like they're doing this everywhere. So I believe it's a standard feature. 
you know what I didn't show you? I didn't show you that covered deck upstairs. So let's hit that next and then we'll go upstairs, take a look at the bedrooms and uh, that awesome primary suite. Remember, if you want information about current pricing incentives, that's always changing. Definitely call or text me, I'm throwing my number up on the screen. I can get you the most accurate information. I've got a great relationship with Curly Family Homes and I can get that very easily for you. All right, so covered back deck. Drop a comment below. How many of you would screen this in? So if you would screen this in, let me know. If you would use it exactly the way it is, not worry about it, let me know. During the summer, the warmer months, the bugs can be pretty bad. It's not too bad right now, to be honest, but it's still kind of hot out. Personally, I think I'm in the screen camp. Also would like to have some stairs that go down. So for instance, if, you, if we were working together, and that's something you wanted, we would negotiate to have that added. Okay, let's check out the upstairs. So you got wood treads going up. And then up here, it transitions to carpet. Now, notice all of this here, because everything on this side of the house is the primary suite. So let's check out some of the secondary bedrooms first. So bedroom number one, got a little walk-in closet here. And it's a four bedroom, four and a half bath. So every bedroom has its own private ensuite. And that's a big vanity. Good, good size. Linen closet here. Gotta take a couple steps in there to get to the racks. It's a good size. So I'm gonna show you laundry. I mean, I'll peek into it. Basically it connects to the primary bathroom, which is super convenient, but I'm gonna tease you with it. Oh, that's it, yep, that's it. But in here, three sets of cabinets. It's a nice wide laundry room. So even with uh, your unit side by side, you'd still have a little bit of room. Over here is bedroom number two. Private bathroom here. See, they're all tile shower. I'm sorry, well, they are tiled. But they're tub shower combinations. You got a walk-in closet here. This one's a little bit bigger, not by much. Okay. Primary suite is where we will finish. Let me show you this bedroom back here. So I've got bedroom number three. This one's a pretty good size. Again, private bathroom. It's got its own ensuite, same setup. Now that first bedroom, with the size of the vanity, these are pretty standard and secondary bedroom. So that first one has a really nice size one. And this is a nice closet too. And then, Here's the master suite. Got your primary bedroom right here. 
French doors open up into the space. And this is a huge, huge, huge space. Tray ceiling, nice crown molding. It's got a really nice sitting room. Sitting room right there. And then check out this bathroom. So a towel floor, towels around around the tub. Nice soaking tub. We got separated vanities. If you've seen my video for Ford Landing and the Washington plan, I feel like this bathroom is very, very similar. Right here, access to the laundry room that we saw. So that's always super convenient. And it's a really good size, really good size shower. Nice frameless glass, all tiled out. Good size bench there, water closet on this side. And then check out this closet. So you've got two sections. Yeah, lots of room to customize. So that was the Adams plan. Now, if you'd like more information about that floor plan, maybe current incentives, pricing in the neighborhood, if it can be built elsewhere, because it can. As a matter of fact, there's also a spec home of this floor plan currently available. Feel free to reach out. And remember, I don't represent the builder. My job is to represent you, help you negotiate the best possible price and terms to purchase a home. And then as they're building it, help keep the builder honest so you get the best built house possible. But I can only do that if you contact me. Best way to contact me is to call or text me at this number right here to set up a consultation. Now, my name is Taryn Richardson. I'm your Atlanta Realtor with EXP Realty. And if you want to watch more new construction tours, you're definitely going to want to watch this video right here. It's pretty awesome. And if you haven't already done so, every single Tuesday at 4 p.m. I release a brand new video. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you never miss another one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.